Today's investigating the city of real life zombies. This is Kensington, Philadelphia, the center of America's Philadelphia. drug epidemic overrun with a drug known as Trank, a mixture of horse tranquilizer and fentanyl that's turning people there into real life zombies. And with the oh, help of yeah, no. contact Recon Bowl, we're going to figure out how this happened, what could be done to fix it, and hopefully not get shot in the process. Wow. Yeah, that was a good oh. What's the Actually, like got shot. Nice. Very, very light. Yeah. Uh, so you always stay strapped. Yeah, you got to. This ain't no game out here. But people can't just walk from this street to that street without being murdered. We're starting to get a sketchy area right now. You see yeah, that yeah. change a little bit? Big change out of nowhere, right? You see here. what I'm saying? Cops and tunnel, night and day. Right, He's fast, wearing bro. the tips of nice the back of the mirror or something. Yeah, let's uh, park right here somewhere. All right, we're hopping out. Oh, the car is being parked. buddy, Hot Shot Shakur, to give us a closer look at the city. All right, so what's going on out here? Where are we at? Yeah, we at Kensington and Clearfield. So this neighborhood right here, like during the pandemic, once when COVID first hit, like a lot of stores on this block got destroyed. Like, right under there. Quite been here. Vandalized and burnt down. Okay. So the store owners, they moved. Needle right there. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm seeing needles. I've never seen needle. Actually, yeah. in my life, actually. Yeah, I've seen like five in the last two minutes. Those common. See needles like this everywhere out here? Yeah. 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 They come out and clean the whole neighborhood every Got day, it. every morning. Yeah. And then they yeah. get back like this by nighttime. So is it a real concern to actually step on one? Yeah. There's yeah, a possibility that a person can step on one every day. Yeah, some like saw show sneakers that got don't got fixed soles. Yes, you could possibly step on one because they under cars, <coughs> under bags, oh, they yeah, everywhere. All this, these orange you caps could are from, from needles. Like yeah. that? We looking at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just in this area. That's wild. Yeah, where the oh, so those are cops right there. Locking somebody up. Okay, that's happening in real time. I said during COVID, on k &A, we had active military from here to Aramingo, Port Richmond. They rioted down here bad. All the stores were ransacked. And so we made our yes, way to the part, in part there. famous for the sheer quantity of needles there at any given time, where a lot of the homeless people hang out. I'm just trying to watch my feet for needles, no joke. Needles in the juice box. I used to come here to get on this really? computer, yeah. And when did it When did it get basically shut down? I told down? you, two years ago. The, when COVID hit, it impacted this like a bomb. How many homeless people do you think are out here? I'm, I'm going to keep a, a buck with you like all the way 100. Yeah. There are more people down here that are stranded from different places in America than anywhere in America. Like people come here from all over. They drive here and then they never leave. So everyone comes out here to get drugs. What? This is the hub. Yeah. And you can shoot them up and cops don't do anything about it, right? No. They fight and they fire homicide. So the minor problem is them getting high. The main concern is overdoses. You get what I'm saying? So people people camp out here. And then look, you get the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna take you to the train this station. Is, like, it's crazy. You'll see one block that look clean and then you go to the next block over. Feces. You could die, you know what I'm saying, out of nowhere because there's so much going on. This was my best friend. I mean, we, we've been together, yeah. you know, as friends since I was approximately like 19 years old. I'm okay. 31. So it was like, yeah, this is yeah. my brother. Like, I lost him to gun violence down here. And then yeah, okay. I lost his cousin, who I met at the same time, to a gun violence yes. in probably yes. approximately like seven months. How are people making money out here? I mean, people make money out of everything. Yeah. People sell clothes, people sell drugs, yeah. people sell t-shirts. Bro, down, yeah. down here is about survival. Of the fittest. And yeah, as we watch the train down stop, there. Shakur told me about a new problem. 24-7 gambling. So first these came oh, here. Boy. The smoke shop. They gambling. popped up in Philly heavy. You gotta go to like Wawa, a gas station. Now you do not have to do that anymore. Nor do you have to go to a, a casino to gamble. They're in every store. Um, the machines, we actually about to walk past them. So you're gonna see the high velocity of them. And as we walk there, you'll notice the insane amount of needles beneath our feet at all times. And keep in mind, these are all just from today's use. And you'll see something like this. It's say a convenience store. This is what we got now. They replaced convenience stores with gambling. Yeah, so it's cheaper or something. $10, $5, they can come in here, put the money in, bop, 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 win $30. The more you play, the more you win. You know the game. But this is where it's high drug. Like, why is this here? Yeah. Legitimately, sure. right across the whole wall. Little casino machines, we're not in Vegas. Gambling is an addiction. So no matter which way you turn, no matter what your addiction is, you don't have to leave here. When people come here get stuck. Here. They get stuck. Yeah. Now look, get this, get the ground. Every night, fires to stay warm. Yeah, so there's burning straight on the sidewalk here. And then out of nowhere, this happened. Wow. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Young boy burned mm -hmm. out. He just rolled the window and shooting huh? at the, the attics. Oh, you're shooting? Yeah. Oh, just yeah, no. I missed that? Yes. With a, with, a, with a Nerf gun, a BB gun. It's so random. Like, that's how crazy this joint is. And he's like, and that was a kid. That was a kid. That was a kid. Oh. All right, come on. That got me. Woo. Freaked out by the real danger out here, we booked it towards the train station. We about to walk through, y'all. So
So when they got to come up the steps, this is what they got to walk past. Like you see on the yeah, right there. They way. come to get on the train. You see the train. They got needles all over Blood there. Blood on the ground right there. Everything. Yeah. Yes. And this is like, so say if a female was taking her child to school yeah, yeah. or coming from school or yeah. going to the hospital. I guess you can walk there for that. In order yeah. to get on the train, this is what they got to go through. So we're going to take y'all up. All right, let's do it. Experience, what's up with you, bro? How you doing? All right, we're going up. What's up, Slime? This is stuff that they don't see. Because look, you see you got the guy right here. Yeah. He cleaning. They constantly have to clean all day. Yeah. People are injecting even up here? Yes. People come up here and they urinate. They definitely yeah, just all types of nice. stuff. Like coming down here. You see how many needles are down here? This is just throwaway. He's just on look, one day, I guess. The needles. This bucket is for needles. After seeing how locals travel on a daily basis out here, I wanted to know what it's like for business owners in this environment. What's your name, man? Levi. How long have you been out here? Uh, 15 years. After COVID, people just completely went berserk COVID affected COVID, kensington totally COVID different than it did the rest of the world yeah. i'm talking about it was on fire i seen people with chainsaws going in banks it was the real life herd like when it was COVID, a guy went yeah, and put a baby mm -hmm. yeah, that man blew it up and he killed himself blew up in you his face. Every oh, yeah, yeah, got hit. you leave out of your house you don't know when you're gonna come back this is a dangerous business yeah. we have ak-47 we have ar-15 you see this this is state of the art my katana yeah this is a real katana and then i have my ar-15 <laughs> like you can call the devil but you will not like him when you see him coming. Not too long ago, they found a, de a woman in a, de in a luggage yes. right sitting in the, right there. Right. The other day, I opened my store at 8 a.m. in the morning and I opened the back door. There was a dead body, a guy who overdosed himself and killed himself. Crazy thing about it, the cops don't even care no more. They know they're dying and they're still using the drugs. The only way to sweep and clean everything out is by sending the entire military. Knowing how dangerous it is just to run a business out here. So you to know how dangerous it is to live out here. Wait, that is hard. Hi, what's your name? Chrissy. How long have you been out here, Chrissy? Probably about like four years. How did you end up here? Um, using drugs. Plan on staying here for the foreseeable future? Man, I say I'm not going to do another winter every winter. How do you get out of here? It's hard. It's yeah. really hard. You use drink? Yeah. Yeah, is it? It's in a, it's in all. Train, train crazy. Right yeah. Is the fentanyl in that as well? Yeah. Yeah. So when it's just trank, it hits you hard. Okay. You pass out. You wake you up. You just... Got it. So have you heard like the zombie term like zombie? I I nod out standing up and right. I like literally like go like. And do you get stuck there for hours on end? Yeah, like for hours. Yeah, yeah. not zombie. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because of doing that stance for so long or nodding, sitting, sitting up. I, I can't can just flat on my back. How many people you seen be stabbed? You see it all over. Like, you, I got stabbed by one. Right here, man. This joint, I got, I had got the pictures on my, remember when I put on my gram? I, I got into a mix and I treated him bad and he banged me out. <laughs> Would you like to share? What's your name? Dana. Dana. How long you been out here, Dana? About two years. What's the biggest problem down here? The stealing. The dealers jumping you for your money. And how long have you been using the product out here? I've been using it for, for 20 years. Do you see yourself getting out of here anytime soon? 20 years, yes. I've been in two days trying to get in treatment. Yeah? How can this problem be fixed? How can people get safe housing? How can this, this place get cleaned up? Speaking for that, I'm literally serious. Do you, do you use any drugs? The xylazine? Yeah. Yeah? Is it very addictive? The xylazine is more addictive than the fetty. Yeah? Do you think if the government built, or the city built more more treatment centers, it would be easier to, to get out of this, this addiction cycle? Yeah. And get out of here? Easily. You see a lot of people like that. I hope you stay safe. Thank you. Appreciate that. Stay safe. Thanks again. The seemingly endless Man, cycle of drug use and crime, I wondered where people here could actually get help if they wanted it. And as we were driving, we saw this. This is Shannon. What are you guys up to out here? So every Saturday, we provide food, clothes, and safer youth supplies. So one of our main goals is to reduce overdoses in the community. We also provide syringes and help in the community. Wound care. We're 100% volunteer run. The Everywhere Project. Org. So if someone wants to have help, they can come out here. Sign up to volunteer yeah. on our website. We also accept clothing donations, blanket donations, shoes mm, donations. Nice. And if someone wants to send like funds or donations. Also, we have Venmo, Cash App, PayPal. Everything that is raised goes right. Apparently, I'm not super loud. I think it's actually crazy. I'm not super loud. 